This is Tim with Terrell Electric. You see, kind of a mess and a disaster area, as we're calling it a day today. We have the shower light for this customer. Switch there. Light, fan, here in the uh, little commode area. Um, this light, we had to search for the wire in the wall, typical. We had here, we had to pull it there to put it in for the wall cabinet that they decided to add instead of doing what the original design was. Uh, we've got that light fixture up there. We're gonna mud and tape that hole and that hole, that hole and that hole in the morning. And Monday, we'll be back and put these in and have it done. There's the uh, light over the garden tub for the master bath that is not in yet. They had to redo their tile. So we're a little bit ahead of the game. We have a uh, rope lighting installed in the master bedroom. We have the uh, ceiling fan and light going in the master walk-in closet, have a light. We also install a receptacle. That is for the gun safes that really count. <laughs> um, we have the second bedroom, we've gotten it cleaned up. The uh, walk-in closet, small light set up and we're clean. Uh, this particular project, the owner wants to do the low voltage. So we are letting him. We have our carbon smoke combination unit in the hall. We have our hallway light, three weight here. So that, that way you can also put it down there. Makes it a little more easy. We've also included a receptacle in the hallway. This is the smaller of the three bedrooms. Fan light going. Again, you want to do the low voltage. We have a standard fan and light plug here. Doorbell here. We have two recessed cans. We ran out of light bulbs from the homeowner. You can see the fart fan made out there. And then our three light fixtures here. Exact same height and all that. They've got to clean up the bathroom and do their stuff in there. We're out of that. Here's the three-way switch for the hallway, as you can see. So we can turn it on here or at the end of the hall when you're going to bed. Here is the living room, uh, fan and light. We put the recessed can lights on a four-way switch. We have the ceiling fan light and the ceiling fan controlled by these two switches here. Now, the other switch, the three-way, is over here in the kitchen. Second switch hits those. This is the formal dining room, if you will. A simple three-way here for it. And we have the entry light here at the door, which is controlled with this first switch. Then this is the three-way switch for the dining light. And this is the exterior light. They're not done with their brickwork out there, so we can't put it on yet. Uh, again, we are cleaning up behind ourselves, getting things prepped and done and out of the way, trying to make the area nice and clean for them. Convenience receptacle there. This is the bar. There's a little receptacle there for them. We've got, this is the dining area or kitchenette as I'm calling it. There's a light here that's direct. It is not a three-way that'll hang down over that. We have a coaxial plug here for a TV. Uh, GFI receptacle, which goes across over here to control this receptacle here that we've got to cut the cover plate to fit. This light switch here controls this light up here, simply in case you wanted to have a night light in the kitchen. Refrigerator is typical. This is the kitchen light here, which is set up on a four-way. It's set up over here. It's set up over here. 
And then it is also set up over here on this switch for all of them to work. Um, <clears throat> these two lights here over the bar, you see three of them, but uh, this one is just for the light there and it's here. This one here is for the garbage disposal. Uh, I've got a convenience receptacle there. The two lights over the bar, we wanted to switch over here. Part of that is because this whole cavity here, in, in this area here, on the back side of that, is all vent. So, yeah, that was a booger right there. That whole space is a vent, except for this little portion from here to here, which isn't that wide, it's about 12 inches wide, my hand's eight inches, and we've, we've got most of that area taken up, but it's all uh, studs to support the beam going across for an open area there. So that's all consumed in that. We had to use metal boxes, conduit, and all that stuff. No step for a stepper, got it done, it's installed. The uh, homeowner didn't want to put the um, light switch there. We thought it'd be better to put it over here. Receptacles there. The uh, microwave will go in below that, but it plugs in up the top. Uh, outside patio area that he has put in. We have working fan and light out here on a screened in back porch. Uh, we have to do the uh, receptacle out there and we have to do the TV coax out there as well, or he's going to. Then we have the pantry here. We've still got to do it for the lighting. Then we got to do the laundry room here. Then we got to do the, the garage. That'll be tomorrow. We include uh, and you can't see it right now. That little plug down there is for the deep freeze to be installed inside. It's on its own dedicated circuit. The washing circuit, dryer circuit. Then we have over here, this GFI plug is for here, but then it feeds the back outside porch and then the plug that we actually install next to the um, HVAC unit. That way there's no... Uh, uh, there's no um, need for the HVAC service tech to come into the house or look for a receptacle. He's got it out there. Our panel, once again, very nice, neat, clean, tidy. Everything's labeled, clearly identified. We've sealed our uh, port for the conductors. That way no outside uh, temperature comes in. No condensation in the panel. We'll get all the sawdust and stuff like that out of there. This is the low voltage box. This is the homeowner's design and construction. We put the plug in the bottom of it. He said that was fine, that's what he wanted. He's good. Uh, and that does it for this house and for this edition of Terrell Electric. If you're building a home or if you have a home and you have some electrical issues, please give us a call, 573-673-2522. Again, that is 573-673-2522. And schedule your appointment. We'll be glad to get started and help you out with your electrical problem. Thank you. Have a great day.